Hi friends, in this video we are going to see a problem based on open circuit and short circuit test. What we are going to do? Open circuit, short circuit test results are there. From that we are going to obtain equivalent circuit of a transformer. So, see the statement of problem. Obtain the equivalent circuit referred to high voltage side of a 400 slash 200 volts 50 hertz single phase transformer from the following test. So, they have given test result OC test voltage 200 current 0.7 ampere and power 70 watt and the test is performed on low voltage side short circuit test 15 volt 10 ampere 80 watt and that is performed on HV side. So, see how to solve this type of problem. I will take test one by one. So, first let us take open circuit test. So, here this voltage I will consider as V0, current I0 and we have seen the power obtained in open circuit test is nothing but core loss of a transformer or you can say ion loss. So, the power I will mention as W i. Now, we know this W i is given as V 0 I 0 cos phi 0. So, if I substitute the values known, I will get one unknown and that is cos phi 0. So, cos phi 0 I will get equal to 0 0.5. So, this I am going to use for further calculation, but beside cos phi 0 I should know sin phi 0 also. So, for that purpose from cos phi 0 I will calculate phi 0 first. So, phi 0 will be cos inverse 0 0.5 which is nothing but 60 degree and sin phi 0 will be equal to 0 0.8667. Now, why this is required? In order to understand the use of this, I will draw a small circuit diagram. So, we have already seen this at the time of drawing a phasor diagram and equivalent circuit. We always have these two elements present which is a part of equivalent circuit of a transformer. This resistance is called as core loss resistance and this inductor is called as magnetizing inductance or you can say reactance. Now, here when I am getting this, when I am performing open circuit test by giving the voltage V 0, I will get this current as I 0 and this current has two components. One is flowing through this R C which I can say I C and another is flowing through this X M I can say it is I mu. I C is core loss component of no load primary current which is I 0 and I mu is magnetizing component of no load primary current. How these three things are related to each other? So, for that purpose I will draw a phasor diagram. So, in a phasor diagram let us say this is flux phi phasor and approximately I can get E 1 phasor is same as V 0 phasor. So, it will be leading phi by 90 degree. And now, I have this current which I can say no load primary current I 0 and angle between them is phi 0. This I 0 has two components. This component and this vertical component. This component is I mu and this component is I c. So, why we have done this? 
because now I can say I C is nothing but I 0 cos phi 0, I 0 is 0 0.7, cos phi 0 is 0 0.5, this will give you I C 0 0.35 ampere. Similarly, I mu is I 0 sin phi 0, 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.8667, the answer you will get is 0 0.6062 ampere. Now, why we have calculated I C and I mu? Because from this diagram, it is very much clear that R C equal to V 0 upon I C and X m equal to V 0 upon I mu. So, now all the values are known to me, I can get R C and X m. Right. So, what is the value of R C? So, R C is nothing but R 0 equal to V 0 pi I C v 0 is 200, I c is 0 0.35. So, I will get R o or R c you can say 571.4286 ohm. Similarly, x m or you can say x 0 equal to v 0 upon i mu 200 upon 0 0.6062. So, x 0 you will get equal to 329.9144 ohm. So, from open circuit test we always get R c and x m or you can say R 0 and x 0. Let us see what we can obtain from short circuit test. So, I will go back to the problem once again. So, from here let us list out the things. So, 15 volt I can consider V s c current I s c is given as 10 ampere and W s c is the power 80 watt. Now, we know in short circuit test whatever power you are getting is a copper loss and that is given by I c square multiplied by register. Here comes the tag. Which register you have to take? Either a primary or a secondary. Who decide that? It decide where you are performing a short circuit test. So, you are performing a short circuit test on H V side, high voltage side. So, from here what is the high voltage side? Is this which is primary. So, instead of writing a resistance and getting confused whether it is a primary or secondary, if you have cracked this, you can very well write this as R 1 E, because test is performed on high voltage side and high voltage is primary. So, W S C is 18, I S C is 10 square, so it is R 1 E, from this you will get R 1 E equal to 0 0.8 ohm, a very straightforward answer you will get. Now, I know voltage, I know current, I can get impedance. So, impedance Z 1 E is V S C upon I S C, V S C is 15, I S C is 10. So, Z 1 E is 1.5 ohm. Impedance and resistance is known. So, I can get reactance. So, it is a root of R 1 e square plus X 1 e square. So, it is a 1.5 equal to root of 0 0.8 square plus X 1 e square. So, only unknown is X 1 e which is nothing but 1.2689 ohm. Now, thing is that we are getting a four parameters, two from open circuit test, 
and two from short circuit test. But what happened? If you see the problem carefully, open circuit test is performed on low voltage side and short circuit test is performed on high voltage side. And what they have asked, obtain the equivalent circuit referred to high voltage side. So thing is that whichever test we perform on high voltage side, those parameters will remain as it is. But suppose we have performed another test with some different side. For example, here OC test we perform on low voltage side. So we need to refer that side parameters to the HV side. So here through OC test we got R0 and X0 like this. But that is at the low voltage side. We want equivalent circuit at the high voltage side. So we need to refer this R0 and X0 on HV side. So equivalent circuit referred to HV side will be like this. And HV side is our primary side. So R0 dash we need to calculate. It is R0 and where we are referring to the HV side. So HV side voltage divided by LV side voltage square. So this is equal to 571.4286 multiplied by 2 square is 4. So R0 dash you will get 2.2857 kilo ohm. Similarly, x0 dash equal to x0 multiplied by 400 upon 200 square which is equal to 329.9144 multiplied by 4. The answer will be 1.3197 kilo. As I said earlier, the test that you are perform on HV side, those parameters will remain same. That means X1E, R1E, Z1E will remain same. So how the circuit will look like? So equivalent circuit referred to HV side will be like this. High voltage side. So high voltage is getting applied and here the parameter you will get R0 dash, X0 dash and this will be as it is R1E, X1E. So this is the equivalent circuit diagram referred to primary side or high voltage side and that we obtained from the OCSC test. Thank you.